Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Tuesday evening. It is uh, roughly 8.22 p.m., 6.16.2020. Here on the West Coast in California, latest earthquake showing up on the globe as a 2.7 earthquake there. Right around the, uh, looks like, Southern California area there. Or possibly, potentially, just right on the border of California and Nevada there. Nothing big activity kind of calming down in that region far as far as uh, you know significant earthquakes go there's definitely still a lot of movement going on out there uh, along the west coast but uh, not as active as we have seen uh, within the past few weeks here kind of looks like the migration of activity moving well over here to the west um, and west of the Pacific Ring of Fire area. Anyway, folks, just a real quick special announcement. Uh, I do want to uh, let folks know I will be traveling here pretty soon. I kind of want to do it maybe potentially once a month. Uh, I know last month we did a Nevada trip to check out the uh, activity there in Nevada. This month I'm taking a trip here, uh, potentially next week sometime, to Yellowstone National Park. And I will be live streaming. I know there's limited service up there when it comes to cell phone service, but uh, right around uh, the main geysers uh, and whatnot, there's uh, good cell phone service. But if I don't have it, then I will be doing a documentary video while I'm out there looking around, uh, maybe on some trails. I know there's limited services out there due to the, uh, you know, the uh, restrictions and whatnot with the. Uh, uh, social distancing, but uh, they're open. So I will be going out there. It's, I think it's a good time. Uh, and the reason being is because it's not full-blown tourist season. And, uh, you know, with limited people out there, I think it would be better to get into certain areas and spots and do some investigating. So I figured I'd give you guys a heads up. Uh, if you would like to help, I know I had quite a few people help me out there in, in Nevada. Uh, get down there as far as donations go to the channel but there was a significant amount of donations there and I actually still have some uh, funds left over that I'm gonna be putting towards this trip here to Yellowstone National Park it's about a 15 hour drive from me so this is about twice maybe two to three times the distance uh, that I'm gonna be traveling uh, from Northern California as I did down to Nevada. So Northern California to Northwest Wyoming, a good 15 hour drive. If you would like to help out folks, donate um, to this channel. Um, not asking for much, I never do. In fact, it's basically just to cover fuel. And that is it. Um, I will be out there around the park all day, um, looking at the geysers, taking video, documenting stuff, and uh, also be checking out any areas that you folks would like to pinpoint to me to possibly check out. Whether it be uh, animals, um, you know, the wildlife out there, certain hiking areas, let me know what you would like for me to pinpoint on and I will write that down in a notebook, which I do have now, and uh, we'll be doing that for the folks and the viewers out there. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. You know, it's the first time I've ever been to Yellowstone National Park. A lot of people haven't. A lot of people have. It's a beautiful super volcano and I'm kind of uh, excited to go up there and see what uh, see what's up there you know there's a lot more that Yellowstone has to offer than what we see here on this live stream there of the old faithful geyser area there's definitely a, a huge amount of, uh, of uh, land to cover out there anyway folks once again if you want to help out that is cool five bucks two dollars whatever if you can't then I understand that as well like I said, I'm going to be using some leftover funds from the Nevada trip and putting it towards this uh, Yellowstone National Park trip. And as I mentioned, revenue and all that stuff goes directly back into this channel. I'm not buying a new pair of sneakers, no buying new cabinets, putting in new hardwood floors. You know, like, I'm not going to mention names out here, but it goes directly back into the viewership out here, folks. So I would appreciate it. Anyway, um, that's coming up very soon. Uh, an easy way to donate is by using the live chat super chat function here on this channel um, during the live stream, which is pretty easy to do. 
Anyway, taking a look real quick globally, folks. Like I mentioned, West Coast activity kind of calming down a little bit. Yellowstone National Park up there where I will be is uh, cold right now. They got snow over the next couple days, so I will not be going up there over the next couple days. Uh, earthquake activity looking very, very minimal right now there in Yellowstone National Park. But, of course, they uh, do have swarms on occasion. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't wouldn't bother me if they did start up a, a good swarm while I was up there but uh, for now everything's pretty quiet there in Yellowstone National Park um, let's see we got a new 2.7 earthquake up there around Alaska just south of the uh, looks like Anchorage up there in a subduction zone uh, I remember the uh, big earthquake back in uh, when it was at 1968 64 somewhere around there uh, that may mega quake up there that happened interesting uh interesting story behind that if you get a chance go check that out that major quake up there in alaska many years ago uh still seeing a pretty good swarm of activity here around the philippines island area and just southwest of japan there it looks like quite a few fours and fives popping off there so uh still kind of keep an eye on that area no major quakes to report out here folks so looking kind of on the moderate to average earthquake activity out here so we're gonna jump off here and uh, hope everyone has a good night we will talk to you guys a little bit later please stay safe out there everyone